Hi, we're here in the exhibition Pieces of History, 10 Years of Decorative Arts Fieldwork at the Historic New Orleans Collection. I am Lydia Blackmore, co-curator of this exhibition and the curator of decorative arts at the collection. Today I'm going to talk about our one full kind of room-like setting in the exhibition which shows off this dining room, an assembled dining room, from pieces that we've cataloged throughout the DAG survey. This whole table setting is here to show off the idea of conspicuous consumption. The fact that Southern planters used their wealth to buy very fancy goods and show them off and impress their family and friends and neighbors. And of course, all of that wealth was based in the enslaved labor of the agricultural economy of the Gulf South. The dining room is grounded with a replica of this fantastic original wallpaper from a home outside of Natchez. It's a wallpaper that was uh, faux grain, so it's hand painted to resemble the wood grain of oak paneling. Um, so it's kind of to copy a more expensive architectural element to fill out a dining room and give it a very rich cottage-like feeling. Um, and cataloging this wallpaper in its original home is one of the highlights of our DAG survey. And one of the really exciting things that we get to do when we're out in the field is find these remarkable survivors. Hanging on top of the wallpaper are two portraits of George Matthews and his wife, Harriet Flower Matthews, painted by the New York artist, John Wesley Jarvis. Jarvis was one of the preeminent portrait painters in the country at the time, and having their portraits painted by him, in fact, actually traveling possibly to New York to have their portraits painted by Jarvis or down here to New Orleans, is showing off the artistic taste and financial wealth of the Matthews as they hung their portraits in their home. The portraits are overlooking the dining table setting. The original dining table and chairs are from a family near Talladega, Alabama. And then the table is set with a fantastic china service. These are just six table settings of a service that has almost 150 matching pieces in it. And this set has um, so many pieces, but is also marked by three different Parisian porcelain manufacturers who all worked together to create this very fine china service. And then next to the china service on the table are uh, original American glasses that descended in a family in Natchez. And these glasses and the china service left their homes for the first time to come here for this exhibition. They, have, they were purchased originally in the 1840s and stayed there and stayed in use by several generations of families until we borrowed them for this exhibition. And that's one of the most exciting pieces of this exhibition is seeing these original pieces that have generations of memories in them. 